Hey guys, Mateus Castello here and today I want to show to you guys um, some details that we have on Horizon templates um, using the Horizon ID extension for Avalonia projects but more specifically for the templates that uses the from buffer and um, the DRM backend. Okay, so I have here a um, Raspberry Pi um, this Raspberry Pi is flashed with Horizon and I want to show um, a Skia shader language demonstration um, using the frame buffer slash um, DRM to show to you guys the performance under um, this machine using the GPU. So if you want to know more, stay with me. Okay, so let's first introduce this subject for you guys because today on Horizon templates we have two types of Avalonia templates. One is using the GTK X11 backend and another one is using the from buffer slash uh, DRM backend. Okay, so um, what are uh, the differences between uh, these two uh, backends, right? Let's highlight this. When using the Avalonia X11 backend, we are using the X server, right? And the X server um, knows how to manage multiple windows, right? So it's not only Avalonia that um, could be um, a client of this window manager, right? We can show uh, other Linux distribution applications in, in, in a window and the X server will know how to handle all these windows on the display, right? It's also um, handled by the X server how to access the kernel API, how to access the GPU, um, the front buffer devices, uh, and also the input devices, right? Like the, uh, the mouse, the keyboard, and touch screens, um, for example. Right, so or Avalonia Windows or Avalonia applications are clients of this X server, right? But when we we are using different buffer backend, uh, it's very different because there is no this middle process, right? There is no X server, there is no window management, there is only our Avalonia application and the Avalonia application itself knows how to draw um, the application directly on the frame buffer, right? So in this way, our uh, Avalonia app is accessing directly uh, the kernel API and drawing the pixels on this slash dev slash FB, that means from buffer uh, device. is also handled by the Avalonia application how to initialize and get uh, the input devices, right? Like mouse, keyboard, and etc. Right? Uh, this is common, commonly used by embedded devices, right? When you don't have so much resources, right? Uh, so you don't need these waste of resources for the window management and commonly we want to use only one application in full screen so it's perfect um, for these uh, scenarios right but also we have this drm that means directly rendering manager that is a more modern api for the kernel linux right uh, it's more or less like different buffer device but the difference is that instead we are um, drawing pixels directly to from buffer no we are calling this interface this slash dev dri card um, zero card one whatever uh, this depends on how um, how much gpus you have on your device right but using this interface you are talking directly with the gpu right there is um, a generic interface and api that you can initialize uh, the gpu um, ask for the gpu the features that you can use right initialize opengl stuff and etc so this way you can have 
hardware acceleration, right? Using the slash dev DRI on card, okay? But it's also uh, handled by the application itself, how to access this interface, right? Uh, and also how uh, get the inputs, like um, the mouse, keyboard, and etc. okay? It's also used by, um, when you want to use directly the DRM, it's also used by um, embedded devices, embedded applications, because uh, as I said, you don't need a window manager, you don't need the X server on the middle, you can uh, free these resources, like, um, because in an embedded application, you want only one application in full screen, and it is it, okay? But in this case, you have a harder acceleration. Okay, so let's demonstrate this, right? Because I already have a project created here. I want to show to you guys some skill shader language um, being rendering in a custom control and custom Avalonia control, right? I get this source code very cool from an Avalonia contributor, right? I will leave the link here on the description for this source code. And in, with this demonstration, you see um, how is the differences um, when using the hardware acceleration with the DRM and when not using it, right? Because I say that there is two types of templates, right? Not three, but because when you create, yeah, let me show here. When you create yeah, uh, these are all the templates for Horizon, right? But for Avalonia, we have this one, this .NET C Sharp uh, Avalonia GTK MVVM, and also we have the .NET C Sharp Avalonia Frame Buffer and DRM. Okay, so there are not three types of projects, only two. But when we create an Avalonia Frame Buffer DRM device, um, project, you can choose between use frame buffer or DRM, okay? And this is what I want to show now, okay? So let's start here taking a look on the program.cs of my project. So you can see here, right, that uh, we are starting the Avalonia app, okay? But I have a um, condition here, right? I have two conditions here. I'm checking an environment variable, right? So if I have Avalonia FB, Avalonia from buffer, set it to the string true, it means that I use the start Linux from buffer device, okay? And I use the slash dev FB0 or whatever the index of your uh, hardware, okay? But else if I have, oops, I have uh, the Avalonia DRM environment variable set to the string true, I use then the start Linux DRM from my builder, okay? And I will use uh, the kernel interface, the slash dev DRI card uh, zero on the case of a Raspberry Pi 4, okay? But you can see here that I put a message, this, uh, uh, this fix me is also on the original template that um, uh, tells to the developer, a hey, take a look in the right card index of your hardware. Okay, so let's test. Here on the uh, template, we have a dot .vs code launch JSON, right? That is the file that describe the debug options, right? You can see that I have Horizon for AMD um, 64, Horizon for ARM 32 bits, and also Horizon for ARM 64 bits, okay? So 
yeah, I'm using the ARM V8, the ARM um, 64 bits because my Raspberry Pi here, yeah, let me set a default because my Raspberry Pi 4 here is an ARM 64 bit device. Okay, okay, set um, is already set as default. And yeah, you can see here that my launch Horizon RMVO V8 is with the environment of a Lonian frame buffer to true. Okay, so let's then deploy it, right? So the template here um, have all the automations. So it's simply you play the you, you click on the play button or press F5 and then uh, the template knows how to compile for the right architecture. You package this in a container and then you deploy it, run it and attach it to the remote debugger, right? Is what uh, the best code is doing now. Okay, so yeah, the application is already running. Yeah, so we have the breakpoint here. Um, and then let's see if this will uh, go. Yeah, okay, so the environment of Alonia frame buffer is set. And then our builder, you use the frame buffer device slash dev FB0. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see the application will be displayed soon. Okay, hello Horizon. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so I have it there. So you can see that um, different buffer, using different buffer, we know, um, or Apollonia knows how to draw directly on the front buffer device. Okay, so we have the button, we have uh, the Avalonia skill shader, test block, and also a grid here with, uh, yeah, I can show, right? Um, the grid here with, uh, yeah, with or draw control that is the custom uh, user control uh, that you show the shader, right? Um, so let's then play this because when I click on play, this will run and draw or try to draw what I tell uh, the shader to do. Okay, so you can see that there is something on the screen, but yeah, you can see that is moving but this should be less than one frame, one frame per second, okay? Why this? Because yeah, I'm using Skia shader language um, that is a language that have instructions for the GPU do stuff, right? And we are doing it, when we do this on the frame buffer device, we are doing it using software, we are doing it using uh, the CPU and yeah, it, it was not designed for this. So you can see that is very poor uh, in performance. Okay, so let's stop. Now, let me back here for the Visual Studio Code. Uh, let me stop the application. Now I you do the same, it's the same application, it's the same template, it's the same project, right? But now I you change um, here on the launch, JSON or environment, okay? So I you set the Avalonia DRM instead of the Avalonia FB, okay? And then we should, yeah, let me press F5. So the best code, you compile everything, package, deploy and remote and attach to the remote debugger for me. Okay, so 
it's running. Let's step by step here check. Okay, it's not. Avalonian frame buffer is not set. Avalonia Duran is set now. And then our build Avalonia app builder, you start Linux DRM using the interface slash dev DRI card zero. And we should have hardware acceleration. We should have GPU to run the shader instructions in a much better performance. Let's see. Okay. Starting all this stuff. Hello to Ryzen. Cool. All right. Our application is there. So let's play the shader. And you can see that the performance is much better, right? It's much better because now we have hardware acceleration, right? Okay, so I think that is it for today. I will leave um, the GitHub link for the source code of this project um, here on the description of this video, right? I hope that this was useful for you. Let me know here on, on uh, on the comments of the video, okay? Uh, these are my social networks, so feel free to add me or follow me on the social network. And yeah, if this was useful for you, please subscribe to the channel because yeah, um, I'm in this, uh, I'm recording a series of videos um, um, bringing these details uh, about um, Horizon templates um, for embedded device, embedded Linux. Okay, so th that's it. Thank you and see you on the next video.